Another type of media file you might want to place on a web page at some point is a video file. Contribute supports the placing of just about any type of video file on your web pages, including AVI files, MPEGs, WMV files, which are Windows media files, QuickTime MOV files, and Flash movies. But the important thing to keep in mind is that even though you can place these items onto your page, anyone visiting your site will have to have the proper plugins installed on their computers in order to see the movie files you've inserted. So for example, they'll need the Apple QuickTime plugin to view MOV files and the Flash plugin to view Flash files. Fortunately, most people already have the most popular plugins for these types of files installed on their computers. But as a general rule, you might want to provide a link on your page to the places on the web where visitors who can't see your movies can go to download the plugins. And you'll learn how to set up links in the next chapter. So to insert a movie file, you just want to place your cursor where you want the movie to appear and choose Insert, Video, and choose wherever the movie file is located on your computer or on the website or on the internet. In this case, I have two files on my computer that I'm going to browse to. On my desktop, I have Brewing and Drinking. The Brewing file is a Flash video file, and the Drinking movie is a QuickTime movie file. Let's start with the Flash file. I'll click Choose. And you can see the file is represented with a little FLV with a sort of a movie strip icon behind it. I'm not actually able to play the file here and contribute, but I can alter some of its properties simply by double-clicking on it to bring up video properties. And in here I can choose to change the display width of the file. And I definitely would want to keep constrained proportion selected so the movie doesn't get stretched all out of proportion. I'm going to leave the current size. We have the options of automatically rewinding the video when it finishes playing, meaning take it back to the beginning, and the option of having the video to start playing when the page loads. I'm going to uncheck that option because I want the visitors to my page to be able to choose when they want the movie to start playing. And we have an option of several Flash video skins. And this has to do with the appearance of the controller that appears in the movie itself, and we'll see how that works in just a moment. The default that we have here is the clear skin 1. We see we have clear skin, corona skin, halo skin. And by selecting them, you can sort of see a preview of what each one looks like. These minimum width settings that you see here are the minimum widths in reference to the actual pixel dimensions here. So it's basically saying in order to use clear skin 3, the movie itself has to be at least 260 pixels wide, which this one is not. But I'll go with just clear skin 1 and click on OK. Now I can preview this just by going to the file menu and choosing preview in browser. Again, contribute warns me that it's just going to place a copy of the draft in a temporary folder on the website, but that folder will be deleted when I publish or cancel this draft. Just click on OK. And it opens in my browser, and there's my Flash movie. And sure enough, I can see the little player here appearing right over the movie, and that will disappear when I move my mouse away from there. But when I come in, it appears again, and I have access to these controls, so I can come in here and watch the movie. Of course, I can pause it, mute the volume, or just stop it altogether. If I stop it and press play again, it actually starts from the beginning again. So that's how we insert a Flash video file. Let's take a look at that other type we have. Put my cursor down underneath Drinking Tea. And again, I'll choose Insert Video from my computer. And this time we'll choose the QuickTime Drinking.mov file. Choose that. This one's a little bit larger. And you can see this one does start playing right away. I'm just going to pause that. And notice now I see this little movie projector icon. And again, I can double click to bring up the video properties. Now, the options you're going to see under Video Properties will differ depending on the type of media file you're using. You generally have more options available to you for Flash videos, which makes sense since both Flash and Contribute are both Adobe products. But in here, we can see the name of the file. We can change the display dimensions if we want to. If I wanted to make this a little bit smaller, say just 250 pixels across and 180 tall. Now, notice there's no constrained proportions here, so I kind of have to know the proportions I'm going for. I have the option of showing the video controls or not, and I have the option of starting the video when the page loads. And I didn't have that happen with the Flash movie, so I'm going to uncheck that option here. Click OK. And again, if I want to see what this looks like in the browser, I can just go up to the File menu, choose Preview in Browser. Contribute post the temporary version of the file for me again. Opens my browser, and now I see both of the movies, and I can come down here and click Play. So that's how you add video content to your web pages. And again, when you go to publish your page, Contribute will also publish the movie files to the server as well. 
Just remember that in order to view movie files, the visitors to your site do need to have the right plugins, so it's common practice to provide links to the sites where the plugins can be downloaded. And again, we'll learn about creating links in the next chapter.